Behind me here is a brand new product from Ember RV. And with Ember, we're used to seeing a lot of unconventional travel trailers that are really stinking cool. But finally, we now have another travel trailer offering from them that's gonna be more like your standard travel trailer, but has these Ember features to it that are just different. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And if you are a returning viewer, I am here in Indiana at this open house event that is close to the public. This is like a dealer event or an industry event, I guess you could say, where you can see Ember has all of their really exciting travel trailers here on display. And this is an event for people in the industry to come and take a look, especially RV dealerships and owners of dealerships, things like that, so they can know what's available for y'all. So when you come in, they know what offerings are there in the market. So this is a really cool event. I'm glad to be here. And this is the Ember E-Series that is their first traditional style travel trailer. So really, really nice. I'm gonna come and knock out the specs here real quick. And my camera is so close to dying. This is the last thing I have to film today. So I'm gonna try to get through this video without my camera dying. We'll see if I can succeed. Unloaded is 5,388 pounds. And then your gross vehicle weight rating is 7,495 pounds with a 2,067 pound cargo carrying capacity. So that is really not bad. That's gonna make this manageable for a lot of half ton trucks. See cable driven slides here, prep to add side cameras and backup camera, prep to add solar here on the side and prep to add solar on the roof as well. And then you have this nice clean pass through storage compartment. And so this here is gonna be essentially a travel trailer from Ember now that's gonna get it in a much more you know, affordable price range and really gonna be a travel trailer where you get the opportunity at a lower price to really see the Ember difference that you get in a travel trailer. Um, up front, you're going to have two 20 pound propane bottles, power tongue jack, and a spot here for a nice large battery. You can do up to a 270 amp hour lithium battery there if you would like. And so that's a big enough space for that. Down underneath here, you're going to have these Lipper quick drop jacks that are really, really solid, really steady, make this thing feel incredibly solid when you're walking inside the RV. And then you have a spot here where you can connect a drill to that to shoot that down. You're going to have an Asdell sidewall here, so you're still gonna get that Asdell composite sidewall. You have a Goodyear Endurance American made tire, and then you have a leaf spring suspension down underneath here. And then it looks like, yeah, you are prepped to add the tire pressure monitoring system. Also have spray port here on the side for a water source on your campsite. Love to see that. You have outlet there. And then back through the back, this is where we just see that ember difference. They have this track system here where this is going to be a very versatile system that you can do a lot of different stuff with. So they currently have it in a bunk configuration. This door opens up. You also have a bug screen that will pull all the way down as well. So you just gotta get it around that bunk there. And then this here also can be turned into like an office space, which is actually the application I like the idea of the most where you just take a single size bunk here and you can really put anything into this track system. You see how they have this ring here as well. This is something they got from the automotive industry and like commercial automotive stuff and so many different accessories you can use for this. But if you took like this single size bunk that's up above here, dropped it down and then took the mattress off, it also makes the perfect desk where you could just see out into your campsite and it's so dang cool. You also have rear storage access through here. So if you wanna load in things like e-bikes, kayaks, whatnot, it has D-rings here in the ground so you can tie things down in this space. And you can take all of this stuff out completely and just make this a cargo area as well. And that is really Ember's special thing that they do where they're working on a patent for this track system. So they're the only one that have something like this that gives you that flexibility to be able to do lots of different things. Prepped out a backup camera, spot there for the Lipper retractable ladder to attach if you wanna get that ladder for your roof. And then you have brake and reverse lights off the back and an accessory hitch off the back as well. So just, um, that's gonna be rated for three, that, or sorry, 300 pounds off the back. And then you have a Tough Flex PVC roofing with a lifetime warranty, fully walkable roof there as well. And then have your LED exterior lights. And then that's just about everything on the outside. As we step inside, we definitely wanna hear your thoughts and feedback because again, this is brand new. So myself and Ember would love to hear your thoughts on what you think. You have this solid step when you walk in. Again, Asdell sidewall, and this is the 22 ETS. 
Now Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about, and I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company, and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well, where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. Now, as we walk inside here, the walking joke around here has been that even though this is a more price effective travel trailer, the only corners that they have been able to cut in this Ember RV are these ones right here. So that you don't hit your leg walking around the bed. And I just thought that was a great take that was definitely worth mentioning. And then you can see here as we pan around, you're going to have pretty much what would be like a, you know, bunkhouse style floor plan layout in here but you get this nice bar stool seating area as well. And then the track system back here is really the spot that shines where this is just such a versatile space. You see it with the bunks here, but because they're all on a track system, these all can be taken out so easily and you can make this space whatever you want. You can even hang like a hammock in this area. You can see there's so many different brackets that you can get for this space and love to hear your thoughts and ideas on what you think of using a space like this for, in addition to the things I mentioned like bunk beds, office space, you know, spot for cargo, whatever it may be. And we're gonna actually just start from the back area where we're at here and then we'll work our way forward. So you're gonna have a nice spacious bathroom in this area. So your backlit medicine cabinet, something they do in all of their products. You have your shelving spaces through here, spots to hang towels. And then here in this shower, I mean, this ceiling height is really tall. And when I step into the shower, oh yeah, your ceiling height here is about six foot three to right there. So you could easily in the skylight be like six, five, maybe six, six and fit in this space. And this is a plastic two piece shower, but I really like the look of that, how they make it look like it's like brick almost. And then they give you a handle getting in and out of the shower as well. You're going to have this flexible shower screen. So I actually like that because it's not the glass. So it's not like hitting your, you know, if you hit your elbow on it, it's not going to rattle like glass will shelving underneath their spot for your toilet paper. And then you have sink here with a black faucet, again, backlit medicine cabinet and a tankless on-demand water heater with those controls in here as well. Spot to hang your hand towel, again, spot to hang your towels here and a little night light as well. So if you wanna just have soft lighting in here at nighttime, you can do that. Going back out into this space, in the kitchen, Really interesting concept going with the north to south two burner stove, which I actually like this because I've never in my life ever used more than two burners at one time. And that allows you to have so much more countertop space, which is something that is always a complaint in travel trailers this size. So I think that's a great idea. Went with the microwave down here. It also doubles as an air fryer as well. So it has some oven like functions with this. And then you open that up and it's gonna be like a standard size RV microwave and air fryer combo. That's gonna open up some more storage space. So you have all this storage up here. And what do you think about these cabinet designs? I really like that. Also should note too, like the lighting color in here, the temperature of it is more of like a residential feel. So it has a little bit more of a warm feel to it in here, which I think a lot of y'all will appreciate. Nice big pantry storage all throughout here. Very, very impressive. So that is definitely not skimping out on any storage space there. And then around your uh, sink and countertop space here, outlet here, outlet there. And phone died on me, so I switched to my other phone here. I'll try to keep it as stable as I can here as we walk through the rest of this travel trailer, but you have your stainless steel sink here, black faucet. It does have the removable faucet as well. And then you have outlets down underneath here. This is like a fake tile backsplash on the back there. It looks really nice though. And you have your TV up here with storage back behind this TV. So get that extra storage space and y'all get this. This AC here is an 18,000 BTU AC with a soft start. So impressive. And this thing, you feel every bit of that 18K BTU power when you open this up because it has this 
part here that opens up and it starts rotating back and forth. And as soon as this thing turns on, I mean, you feel that air hit you hard. So it is a really good, efficient system with cooling down this travel trailer in the biggest AC in the industry. So very impressive with that. Um, coming back to the kitchen space, you do have three drawers here that will pull out and then they will have a soft close function on that. Very uncommon in a travel trailer, but Ember does that in all of their products. And then you have that storage under the sink. You also get a little coffee bar area here as well. So you have the outlet in the corner and then down underneath here, you have some storage space and storage space up here. Also a spot up there to install a Wi-Fi router if you wanna get a Wi-Fi router on your RV. Then you have your 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator here. This will be the Furion refrigerator. See how that opens up there and the space that you have in that space. And then that brings us to the dinette table, which what I really like about this, I really prefer when they do this standard dinette table over like maybe let's say a U-shaped dinette table because it's legless, which allows you actually to sit people more comfortably in here than even something like a U-shaped dinette table would. So I really like that. This table will also drop down and sit on these black supports underneath here. So you can make this into a bed if you want to. Quick accessible storage to space underneath there. And then this is like, okay, it's like a pleather material here, but it almost looked like cloth at first, but really soft on that. Um, nice, just accents here. You have the Ember logo there in the corner. Just the attention to detail is definitely something that Ember is really, really good with. And then right here, have cabinets that open up, windows with pull down blackout shades. So you have those pull down blackout shades as well. And then as you go to the front portion of this travel trailer, you have a max air vent fan up over this space. And again, keep in mind, you also have the vent fan over your two burner cooktop that will vent smells out while you're cooking. And then you go back to this bed. This is gonna be a queen size bed. You do have a privacy curtain here for that space. So if you need privacy, you have the curtain that will go across there. And then really like this space that they do through here. And they actually have a little opening down there. So you have outlets, USB ports, and then that little black circle in that back corner is going to be an opening going down through into your pass-through storage compartment, I believe. And essentially what that's for is if you want to run something like Starlink, that is going to be a hole where you don't have to go in and cut something to run cables through and things like that. So that is what they put that there for. Um, right here, I just noticed too, you have a remote control for your AC and love that they put this in here. You have an 82 inch tall ceiling height. So your ceiling height in here is 82 inches tall. Gives you massive storage space here for your closet. You have that clothing rod in there. And then you have pull out drawer here. Again, soft clothes on that. More outlets and USB ports here. So just so much power because you also had the outlets back behind there. And those have the USB type C connection on them, which I think is just something that's going to have to start coming standard on all RVs, especially with the fact that the new iPhone just came out, the iPhone 15, and it has that kind of connection on it. Up underneath your mattress, going to be strut assisted, have your storage space down underneath here, and it just looks nice underneath there, nicely framed out. And that is just about everything. No floor vents here in this travel trailer. So all your heat is ducted underneath cabinetry. So like you can see a heat vent down underneath there. So no floor vents at all. Also have outlets and USB ports over here as well and dimmer switches for your lights. So like down there's a dimmer switch for your awning light outside, which is really neat to have. I think that's actually a great idea because sometimes that light can be a little aggressive outside at night and then dimmer switch for your lights in your living space as well, which is right up here. Which, and those are all your controls for the fifth wheel, right? Or not the fifth wheel, the travel trailer. Almost feels like a fifth wheel. I mean, it's definitely a big space in here, but have a uh, controls for everything right there. And that will link to your phone as well. And that's just about everything. Certainly if I missed something, let me know. Or if you have questions about anything, let me know. But we would love to know your thoughts. Would love to know what you think. This is the brand new for 2024 Ember E-Series. And very curious what you think. So that's all I got for y'all. Let me know what you think. And until next time, live firmly unbound.